Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us as we take a look at this big low that's crossing the country at the moment. And I gotta say, we've got two lows coming in this week. This is the biggest one though, and it smothers the whole country. Big strong westerlies in the north, hail showers, isolated thunderstorms, and in the south, colder, cloudier and still fairly wet as well so it's quite a big low it's going to take another day or so to get away and then it does clear up though as we get in towards uh, Wednesday. Now I've got to show you this great video that came out of Taranaki from the Primo wireless uh, camera showing this massive lightning strike on the wind wand. Thank you very much Matthew Harrison for sending that in to us uh, last night. By the way you can check that out on our Weather Watch website and our free app. So this is how we look this week. Tuesday the big area of low pressure is centered actually east of uh, the North Island, the upper North Island. So it's moving slowly away, colder southerlies blowing through for many areas, still showers on the east coast but the difference is westerners, you finally get to dry out a wee bit after what has been a bit of a wet weekend. Now we get to Wednesday, and Wednesday is the dry day across the country, well at least to start with. It is mainly mild because the airflow is coming in from the west to northwest, mostly dry as well, but as the day goes on in come the rain bands and it looks like a bit of a wet Wednesday night. And then low number two arrives on Thursday. It's not as big or as deep as the low that we've got right now, but it's still sizable and it's still going to bring in another burst of rain around the North Island on Thursday. And once again, Southland and Southwestland, maybe some of the sunniest, driest parts of the country. Then we get to the end of the week and on Friday this low is centered just out to the east of the uh, Gisborne area, still driving in wet weather for the North Island and the upper South Island. It's a bit of a wet east to southeast wind flow and again windy and showery for northerners, although there should be plenty of dry spells and we see plenty of dry spells around the South Island as well. Now by the way, a lot of people are asking me about the equinox, that is this Saturday. And some people think that the winds have arrived early this year, which they have done, and then they're wondering, does that mean once the equinox arrives, no more wind? Uh, no. So the equinox is this coming Saturday, roughly about 8 exactly in the morning, and then this is the following Thursday, so we're talking about 10, 11 days away from now, and look at all these windy westerlies coming through. So absolutely we are not uh, finished with the winds, they are only just getting started. This is typical normal weather for this time of the year. Hopefully though, we can start, get something, start getting some of these big highs drifting our way. Alright, that is all from me, we'll update you again on Tuesday. <laughs>